Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be sharing you how we can implement Kotlin Data Store into an Android app. Kotlin Data Store is the replacement for shared preferences. Um, this is used for local storage on a device. So if you wanted to persist some data um, after the app has been restarted, you would use um, local storage using Data Store. I will be implementing this in my Photo Notes application. If you haven't seen this application before, I have a full course um, on my YouTube channel where you can build this application from scratch. This uses all the latest Android technologies such as Jetpack Compose. So to get started, firstly, you will need to add this dependency here for Kotlin Data Store. Um, so Android X, Data Store, Data Store Preferences, and then 1.0. I feel like this is a good time to make this video as the API for this library has changed quite a lot. And now I feel like it's in a stable implementation where it shouldn't change too much. So it's a good time to show you guys this. So now we've added a dependency and that you've performed a sync, you should be able to access that library. I'm going to add a object to my persistence package. And that object will be called preference keys. And inside here, this is where we will store our keys for our data store values. So we'll have a key for our name, um, which will be in the app. And this is where you'll put all of your keys. So if you have the name, ID, or whatever you want to use it for, this is where you would put it. So to add values to this, we'll just add them here. So val name equals, and we will need string preferences key. And then we just give it the name, which is name. You, of course, have all the other preference keys available. So if I was just going to do ID, you can see we have int preferences key, and I'm sure there is Boolean preferences key as well. So you have access to all of those different data types. Now, in order to access and modify this data, I'm going to have um, some methods in the view model for my app to access the data store. Now, this app only has one view model. So we'll just use this here. <clears throat> now the data store can be accessed through the context of the Android application. So firstly, I'm going to add a value to the constructor for this, and that will be private val data store. And that will equal data store preferences. And then we just run the import. Okay, there we go. So we want the data store .core .data store import. And now I'm going to add this to my view model factory. So private val data store equals data store preferences, and then provide it in the view model constructor down here. So data store, just like that. And now we want to access, and now we want to, and now we want to create a method to access the data store value, and that will be called name flow, and this will be using Kotlin flow. This will be a flow of string, and it could be nullable, so we're going to add a question mark, and that is going to equal data store dot data dot map. We'll call this value preferences. Then we have the preferences and then we want to access the name value, which we can get from our preferences keys, just like that. And we just need to run the import for flow, which is Kotlin coroutines flow. And now we need another function to save the name. This will be a suspend function. So we will run it in view model scope. View model scope dot launch. Pass in the dispatcher, which will be dispatches.io. And then we'll call our data store, call edit. We'll call this value preferences. And 
and we are accessing the preferences keys dot name and that will equal name just like that and that is all the methods we need for this one value we can now provide the data store to our view model and that is done in the main activity so i'm going to create the data store up here this will be a private val context dot data store data store preferences by preference data store and we'll give it a name which we'll call settings there's no need for the double brackets there just need to run the import for context and then we can pass in our data store here and that will be enough to create our view model now that is all we need for the actual implementation of data store but i'm just going to add in some ui um, to show you guys how we can implement this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a little dialog which will pop up as soon as you open the app and it's going to ask the user for their name once they add their name it will then appear in the top where it says photo notes and it's just going to say welcome and then their name they can then click that and edit it which will then update it so in my notes list i'm going to add a value for whether we should open the name dialog so open name dialog and that is going to equal remember mutable state of false then we'll have a value for name which will be view model dot name flow dot collect a state and the initial will be zero now i'm going to create a quick composable for the alert dialog to display when we want to take the user's name this will be a composable and this will be called name dialog this will take three values first one will be a function which will be save name and this will take a string and return nothing so unit the open name value which is a mutable state of boolean the current name which is a state of string which could be nullable then we have a value for the name which will be updated so that will be mutable state of current name dot value or if that is null it will just be an empty string and we're going to add a bit of space down here for the rest of the function this will return an alert dialog let's put this on separate lines we don't need any brackets after this the title for this will be a text composable please provide name then for our buttons we will have a column with a modifier for to fill the max width And a horizontal alignment of alignment dot center horizontally and inside the column we will have a button the on clip will first invoke the save name function and pass in the name dot value then 
it will update the open name value to false because we want to close the dialog and then inside the button we will just have a text composable just saying save then after the button we are going to have a text composable which will be a text field the value will be name dot value on value change we'll take the value and update the name dot value just like that just going to put these on separate lines then we need the colors which would be text field default dot text field colors the cursor color will be color dot black then the focus label color will be the same and then finally we'll just have a label which we call name now to show the dialogue I'm just going to have an if check before we show the rest of our screen and that'll be if name dot value equals equals null or open name dot dialogue dot value is true we will show our name dialog pass in the function which is view model save name the open name value which is open name dialog and the current name which would be name as state string and now I'm just going to update our generic app bar to show the name um, on the top of the screen and now in the app bar I just need to add a little function to allow it to be clicked on um, so in the text composable I'm going to have a modifier with modifier.clickable and that is going to access a parameter which will be on title click which will be nullable and that will call invoke and I'm going to add that function here so that will be on title click and this will take the same as this function here so it will be a unit function which won't return anything and if we don't have it it will equal null and now I'm going to pass that in my notes list and that will be called on title click and that will just be open name dialog dot value equals true so that will open our dialog and for the actual title this will be replaced with an if statement and that will be if name dot value is null we will provide our string resource for the name of the app and then otherwise we will provide welcome and then the value of the name so name dot value just adding another bracket here and let's clean this up there we go so that's all we should need to implement um, Kotlin data store into this notes app I'm going to run the app now and just give you a little demo. So the app is now running. We can see the dialog has appeared um, as the name value is currently null. I'm going to click on the dialog and we'll use Fred. I'm going to click save and we can see that it's been updated and we've got welcome Fred at the top of the app. I'm just going to go ahead and click that and change it and we'll just call this uh, George and that should update. Now the real test of this 
just to see if we've got data still working correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and close the app and reopen it and we should still see Welcome George as it should be persisted. So that is now closed. Let's go ahead and open it back up. And we can see Welcome George has persisted at the top. So our Kotlin data store is working absolutely fine. So I'm gonna end this video here guys and that is how we implement Kotlin data store in a Android or Jetpack Compose application. Um, if you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. I will put the related code for this app in the description and also a link to the full Android course where you can build this app from scratch. Please like the video and please subscribe.